I don't like that! Oh fuck, oh shit, oh damn! It looks like the mask! I get notes every few months from somebody calling himself Woodcutter. He wants me to turn over our plans for the Lunar Dream Apparatus. It was five years ago today that I found Dad's name on an old research paper at the UFC. I traced him here to Kansas, but finding him is taking longer than I expected. Do you think Fuller is her father? War buddies. Oh! We did a test run of the ideofocal lenses today. And what we are seeing is subconscious memory. Subconscious thought is potentially dangerous to the subject. We will need a physical object to enable the mind to compartmentalize, providing the wearer with some degree of cognitive protection. Woodcutter sent me another note today. He knows about James Lowry. Today, Dr. Bullard and I built a chassis for his new weather device. Tomorrow, I need to go buy some bottles for the base. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Run somewhere! We're no. getting abandoned! Wait, wait! No, the window! The window's oh leaning closed god, in this room! Oh, oh no! Oh, guys, this is totally This my is not fault. a good hiding spot! Oh, I'm gonna vomit! I hate this so much! <laughs> I'm so afraid oh, I'm doing it! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ on a bicycle! What the fuck? Oh, wait, there's, we got an ending! No, we got a dead end! <laughs> Next time, go to the room across the hall and jump out the fucking window. Okay, okay, okay. Are we ready, everybody? Yeah. It's happening. You know, I'm working with my therapist to get over my fear of dolls, and this is just giving me a fear of masks. Okay, okay. okay go, go, go. Now jump out the window. Do it. Yes. Yeah, what the? This is how she broke her arm the first time. Oh. What happened? Where are we? I don't know, but I don't like the it's look of it. It's snowing all of a sudden? It looks like it's been snowing for a minute. How unconscious yeah. have we been? Also, we seem further away from the house. Maybe we have another dream sequence that we're unconscious. Okay. I didn't like that sound. We shouldn't be far from the house. We fell out a window. Are we lost? <laughs> Is that what's happening? The mask. Yeah. Brian said the mask. <gasps> oh my god, there's something there. Oh, oh my god. fuck. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh fuck. We're so fucked. We're gonna get <laughs> murked again. I Click anywhere. I lost my little. Oh, there it is. Okay, go. <laughs> oh my god. I hate Did we this. go anywhere? Where are we? Oh my god. If we get another dead end thing, never jump out the window again. I regret suggesting this. Okay, so we. Did we come from that way? I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna go this way. Just go whatever okay. direction that mask thing isn't in. I We're... think you have to follow the lantern. Okay, so then that way. So then we want to go to this one, right? I think. Over. Not that! Oh my oh. god! They're everywhere! Yeah! Yeah! Go left! <laughs> okay, okay, go okay. Go towards the lantern! <laughs> I think go we're going in circles, lantern. guys. I'm getting turned around. Right. Okay, so this way? Yeah, just, yeah, I guess. Okay, so we're not getting that big flash oh. of light. Okay, those are new, those are, that's a new rock formation. Go towards yeah. the tiny square, I think that's the house. Okay, so if we don't get a flash of light, it means we're going in the right direction. Yes. That's lit. What the fuck? No. <laughs> <gasps> I hate it! I hate it! What is this, a Russian spy bunker? Okay, get into the bunker we still before being followed? I don't know. We were. I don't want to find out. Yeah, get in. I don't the understand side. either. Alright, sorry everybody, I'm going in. Is this a freezer? Might be into the, the freezer more? basement? Okay, change my mind, go back. <laughs> Oh man, we don't we don't even have a flashlight. Nancy Drew gives you a flashlight. <laughs> she doesn't let you go anywhere without a flashlight. Yeah, okay, she's Nancy smart. This journalist is too plucky. <gasps> that's not. That's a real person. Yeah, that's that's, that's a real, real person. That is not a hallucination. Oh my God. He seems to be okay that we are here. Oh he is, oh oh. Does not seem to be trying to murder us. What the no. fuck? Okay. What? And I cannot stress this enough. The fuck? Was that our- was that a dream? Was that our hallucination? Also, that person might still be in the house, so... Are we gonna crawl through the window? Is this how we get around the piano? <laughs> oh, yes it is. Oh, there's a handprint! Let's get, have another boring look, flashback of her boring-ass life. <gasps> okay, leave! Sure! That's what I wanted to do! Why did we go back into the house? Because this plucky journalist refused. We gotta- Look at the handprint. Do we have to, though? <laughs> yeah, I know her life's boring, but we gotta Marguerite know. Marguerite Higgins is my hero. She won a Pulitzer for her reporting in Korea. I went to college because of her. She goes to war zones, marches with the troops. Nothing scares her, and she gets the story. Marguerite Higgins doesn't run from a juicy story just because her life is in danger. 
She probably that does. Lie. So that's why we're staying. Ooh, a paper. Dear Harris, I read in the paper today that you received a special award from the college for groundbreaking research. I am writing to wish you my sincere congratulations. I've said some things that I regret, but today I wish to only extend good wishes to you in your future endeavors. Do you know the scene in North by Northwest when Cary Grant disrupts an art auction? He makes nonsensical bids until the police are called to haul him away. My life feels that sometimes. I poke my head up and say something crazy every now and then, just on the off chance that somebody will take me away from all this. I would like to hear from you. Please write me back. Sincerely, Cynthia. And this is ex-wife? I think so. Yeah. That must be the weather device. That looks like a weather device. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'll I name followed your invention. instructions to collaborate the Tempest Prognosticator. Your concern was correct. The bottles must be placed from heaviest to lightest to produce accurate results. The actual weight depends on the leech used. Leech? So I have to recalibrate every time we want to take a reading. However, the device works as intended. Once the model is aligned precisely with the moon, then it may be used to start the lunar dream apparatus safely. Bullard's research is crucial to the story. I wonder if I can get this thing working. Ooh, what's also, underneath? What's glowing? Huh. <laughs> it's run by one single battery. <laughs> one single 1960s battery, nonetheless. <laughs> Using the moon as a trigger for the lunar dream um, apparatus has its case? problems. The moon it's must right be full, or nearly case. so. The night must be clear, and the process must be started at a very specific time to ensure that the moon is visible from inside the chamber. Today I hit upon a solution. We'll build our own weather device. In fact, we can base it upon exceedingly accurate design from a century ago, the Tempest Prognosticator. I'm sure with some tuning, we can build a device that responds exactly to our weather needs. Then we'll need to get some leeches. Something about the moon phases and they're building a whole separate device for it. I'm like, literally just contact a single witch. Also, you're in Kansas. <laughs> you're telling me the farmer's almanac is not giving you good enough readings of the moon? Portrait of Bullard. Feels like he's looking at me. Oh god. <laughs> Ew! Skeleton face. <laughs> skeleton face. Skeleton face. Oh. Oh. Skeleton oh. 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 Oh, he's in trouble. He's sad. <laughs> <laughs> he was put in the naughty corner. And look, there's something right over here too. Oh, we just don't look like the other blue ones. Oh yeah, we got a weapon now. It's over for these hoes. Oh, I bet we used the thing that we just picked up. Oh yeah, to pry it up. Fire Let's commit oh property damage. We already committed mail fraud. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Something's padlocked. Can we just pick the lock? Do we have to find a key? Yeah. Star circle square. Star circle square. More Ooh. keys in a code. Uh, I'll hmm. read it. Bill, I think we have the opportunity to tell one of the great science stories of the 20th century and make a considerable sum in the process. The key to our success is Harris Bullard's brain research. He has discovered something fundamental about the operation of subconscious brain waves, and I believe that he will soon harness this knowledge to build a device whose object is to make men superhuman. Our first what? task is to procure this device before Bullard can publicize it. An invention of this magnitude must not be consigned to the boneyard of the academic journal. We will make it the story of the year, and then we will sell the technology to those rich enough to meet our price. I look forward to your continued cooperation in this mutually beneficial partnership. <gasps> Best regards, Graham Wellington. That was his it, partner. It was a I knew there was something sus about that guy. I'm just saying. Look at his face. Look at his little weasel ass face. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Okay. What do you think that's to? <laughs> my, my paper voice. <laughs> national recognition for local college. The National Academy of Sciences announces its annual picks for leaders in science academia on Wednesday. Among the recipients of this prestigious award was our own Oakley College in Logan. The college won recognition for a controversial research paper published by the school's small neuroscience department last year. We are very proud to have our work recognized in this way, said Dr. Graham Wellington. The award-winning paper, authored by Wellington and Dr. Harris Bullard was written in 1962, but only published last year. The highly technical paper caused some uh, controversy in the neuroscience community and was ridiculed by many experts in the field. This paper was written entirely by Dr. Bullard, said the Oakley student who did not wish to give his name. Wellington just put his name on it and took all the credit. Bullard, who retired from the school last year, could not be reached for comment because he was dead. Just kidding. I don't know oh, sure. dun dun dun. <laughs> He's a weasel. Mr. Wellington. Mr. Weaselton. Wesselton! Wesselton! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one. Ordered by Cynthia Peckman. That's for the ex-wife. Yeah, this is for packing up moving. all the stuff and moving it out because she owns the house. 
Just yeah. Oh, listen to that. So client is, sorry, I'm reading ahead. No, client no. is still looking for key to first floor study. I bet that's what we just found. Uh, oh, paper, paper, paper. paper. Cynthia called me today. She sounded drunk. I maintained my calm this time, declined her invitation to meet, and told her in no uncertain terms that if she was looking for money, she had best look elsewhere. Graham came by my office this morning. He had a strange looking envelope. It bore no return address with just the single word, woodcutter. <gasps> Graham is a weasel! <laughs> <laughs> he never set foot in a lab or run an experiment, but he makes it sound like he's the brains behind the whole program. Without me, he'd be a washed up theorist with nothing to his name. Love that our weasel theory was correct. I like that he's just like vibing and just wants to be left alone to do his research. He's like, oh, this guy in my research lab's a fucking bitch ass and he's trying to steal my research and my ex-wife's calling me. She's irritating. <laughs> yeah, flashback time. Oh, and a piece of paper. <laughs> Dad took me to Wichita once before he died. We drove for four hours to get there, ate hamburgers, and watched a movie. Then we went home. He never explained, just told me to get in the car. I guess he knew he was going to die. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Ace Fuller Daily Log, August 18th, 1965. This is very recent. The little mail fraud enterprise Bobby and I are operating has paid off. Excuse me? Since the beginning, I have had suspicions about Woodcutter's true identity, but I cannot confront him without evidence. Several months ago, I started paying Bobby extra to steal outgoing correspondence from a particular individual's mailbox. Today, we intercepted a very interesting letter. This one confirms most of my theories and has been locked away for safekeeping. When I have one or two more pieces of the puzzle, I'll nail Woodcutter to a wall. I'll have to do it quickly, though. The device, my ace in the hole, is almost finished. When it's complete, there will be no reason for Woodcutter to let me live. Why was that dude staring in the corner? I don't know. But yeah. we got the thing. He's gone. Because we got the thing. Yeah, because we got whatever he wanted us to find. Okay. So. What's in the next room? Oh, here he is. So he just wants he us to figure me. out this weather machine thing. Do we think the guy in the mask is her subconscious interpretation of the dead guy? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like maybe. That's it kind of looks like him. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm scared of opening all doors. <laughs> yeah. Paper, paper, paper. United States Patent Office. This is 1963. Oh, it's for the um, the scary mask thing. Oh, uh, I was waiting for a frozen head to be in there. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Coffee can that's frozen shut. Interesting. This house is so much bigger than I thought it was. Like, same. Bobby, here's the list of supplies this week. I know you're angry that I haven't paid in a month, but please wait a little bit longer. I have some money coming and I'll be able to pay you soon. I'm glad that was worth taking. <laughs> oh. Oh, we need them for the device. Dear Harris, Happy New Year. Harris, I need money. Some of my investments went bad last year and with Kennedy in the White House, soon others will certainly fail. You may hate me now, but I cannot believe you'll consign me to a life of poverty. Somewhere deep down inside you, under that mask you wear in daily life, I know you must still feel something for me. Please say you'll help me. Just this once, put down the mask and trust your true feelings. Humbly and sincerely, Cynthia. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta bust open this coffee can. In Does the freezer. sink work? Can we melt it in the oh, sink? Yeah, or do, are we gonna sink. bust oh, it in the stove? Idea. How is the water uh, too, too cold, cold to melt the ice? Even the coldest water melts ice. Do we have to fill up that bowl next to the water, heat up the water on the stove, and then go... <laughs> Put the um, bucket in there. What are we doing? Sorry, messing with my headphones. You're fine. Okay, take that bowl. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> nope, it was just hot water. She just accidentally turned on the cold tap instead of the hot tap. All right, what's, what's inside, inside, chat? I'd like to know, too. Looks like a blank sheet of paper. There's something special about it. Mask Invisible time. Thing. Mask time. Mask time. Yes. Definitely mask time. Oh, no, I can't look at it. Huh. You probably have to That's put it so down weird. somewhere. Did we open all these? No. Oh. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I am Woodcutter. You this? have five days. I am coming. Have we put the mask on in this room? No, actually. No, we have not. Can you just, like, cook an egg on the stove? <laughs> <laughs> what if he's not here because we figured out the coffee can thing already? Oh. oh yeah. We were too smart for our subconscious. <laughs> level up, level up. Oh, awesome. Uh, I am Woodcutter. You will complete your research and then hand it to me, or we can discuss the South Pacific in 1944. Oh my god, did his friend die in battle? Was it his fault? 
Oh! It seems like it. Maybe he abandoned his friend and his friend was actually alive and got abandoned and is like, pissed. That could be it. <gasps> I hate it! Oh no, no! It's pitch black down there. Not worth risking a fall with a broken arm. I'll need to find a light. Thank you! Jesus. For once, she has some fucking sense. So did we open this door over here? One of the doors so. was locked, at least, I think. That one was locked. But what about this one? I don't know if we tried that one. Oh. Oh, but you used the key. Oh, lit. <gasps> okay. Magic, oh. it's a bathroom. Oh no, the music changed. Oh no. Ew, there's leeches. <laughs> oh, the leeches. Ew. Uh, that's so gross. Ick. Okay, don't fall in. Oh, there's, oh good, there's a nice piece of paper stuck to the tub. Reach gently around the leeches. <laughs> oh good, it's a chapter. How did a full ass chapter of this guy's book get stuck to the side of a bathtub? And yeah, that's a very good question. Somebody make out. it make sense. There's <laughs> a flashlight. But hey, are we, am I in charge now? Sure, you want to? Sure. That's I'm like, <gasps> <gasps>